Hey, Bonafides and YouTube otherwise. It's me, C. Minty, and I'm back. I'm back with another video show review or TV show review, reality TV show review. This time it is The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Again, I just threw this on my head because my hair is looking a mess. But anyway, this time is The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I do know this, this is a snifter and you don't put wine in snifter, but this is my house, okay? The Real Housewives of Atlanta review from tonight. I'm on time. Ah, okay. So, y'all, have y'all found me on my other social media platforms? If you have not, please do. Find me here on YouTube and on Facebook at Properly Bonafide. Check me out at C Minted on Twitter and on Periscope. Excuse me. Email your girl at PropperLadyTV at gmail.com. And if you're into pictures, because honey isn't everyone into pictures find me on ig at twister weather that's twister not twista because i'm a proper lady <laughs> and i'm from oklahoma okay get into it you guys i am wearing bonafide bagatelle which is my um business that i run with my daughter it is a excuse me a jewelry business excuse me that is five dollars for all this gorgeous jewelry. This one is very simple and, and not complex, but we do have more, uh, you know, more profound and bigger statement pieces as well. Please check out my online store at www.bonafidebagatelle.com. That's www.bonafidebagatelle.com. Com for the this and other amazing pieces on there. Now we do have new releases real quick. I know we gotta do some housekeeping real quick. We do have new releases Monday to Friday, every day in between three and seven p.m. East, uh, not Eastern Central Standard Time. However, we do get in there and get the so check around six o'clock Central Standard Time and for some of the new releases. And if you don't see it, catch me when I do my gosh shopping, okay? Cause I'm get, I'm getting the pieces. Check me out. Check out our store, www.bonafidebagatelle.com. Thank you. Now, into the show. Okay. Baby. Ooh, baby. Sheree was talking so goddamn much. This some uh, this goddamn old episode. Oh, girl. I thought you was grown. You just, oh, she's a mess. She's a mess. And you know this show is produced because she'd have been got stomped on any corner with any group. I think the World Housewives of Beverly Hills would have been at least, you know, snubbed her big time and wouldn't even let her in the group. The girl just go back on everything and tell and run her mouth and tell and run her mouth. I mean, even in uh, Barcelona, she did say, well, I, I'm going to talk to her, but I'm going to tell her about everything we said up everything we said up in here, too. I'm like, oh, girl, like, what? And you can tell that she just don't like Nene. I don't think that she just likes Kim so much. I think they're friends, but I don't think that she likes Kim, Kim so much as it is that she just does not like Nene and never really has. And certainly that she has that big-ass palatial house. Sheree has a nice house, too, has, in quotes, okay? But it was no speculation, condemnation, clownery, or foolery concerning her obtaining that house. Now, Kim is trying to kick up some shit on NeNe, and it seemed like that's all she got this season, is to come and try to kick up some shit on NeNe, that one, she does drugs, and then two, that it might be something funny about how she got that house. And I know y'all was hearing that. And I'm like, Kim, just tell it. You telling everything. You big bad and stuff, all, you know. Tell it, and, and it's going to be a lie because you full of lies. You might as well tell that lie. You don't mind telling no goddamn lie. I understand what Kim was trying to hold back and act like she was trying to, wait, hold on, hold on. I got one more thing. You know what I'm saying? Go on and let it out, sis. Do it. Ain't nobody scared. Ain't nobody scared. So, Portia, we get Portia, get, get oh, Lord, I almost said, I was going to say we was going to get the trash out the way. Portia, she's just all like, well, I heard what Nene said, and it's just like she wants me to be like, do this big orchestrated thing. Like, I'm here, and I want to say sorry to everybody, and then wait for everybody to say, okay, you can get back in our crew. And she basically saying she ain't going to do that shit. She ain't with it. And, you know, y'all chicks don't got, I got other stuff to do here in Atlanta. And if y'all chicks don't really want to deal with me and stuff like that, um, well, so be it. I'm not going to walk around kissing your butt. And I'm just like, girl, no. Girl, no. 
I kind of feel what you're saying about, you know, if you don't take it how I give it. But all of it seemed like the way she was throwing money. I want to give you $5,000. I want to run over here after I've been working all day and come work on your event too, Cynthia. It just didn't seem to me outside looking in. So I know these people right here. It just didn't seem real genuine. It seemed like a real quick kind of band-aid on the situation you were trying to put on it, uh, Portia. So, Portia, if you fine with being over there with your family who ain't nobody cut checking for, we ain't even checking for your cast, really. You know what I'm saying? Ain't checking for it, so therefore you ain't gonna get that much uh film time. Get on over there and do that. That's how I feel about that. Get on over there and do that. Ain't nobody gonna be mad at you. Do that, okay? So now, uh, what's the other thing? Okay, so that's Portia. Sheree. Baby Sheree was all over the place. She even had the nerve to have on like a sweatsuit. And Carla, you always so through with the sweatsuit. It's Carla calls out them damn sweatsuits all the time, okay? The sweatsuit was cute at the at the can at the little shop she went with candy. But it was something about I think I like the fanny pack more than the sweatsuit. But it was just like, girl, you got it going on all up here. What's going on with this stuff right here? What is it? You know, I, it's some kind of ism or OBO or something where when someone's partner is in a lowly state that they get in a lowly state too. I forgot what it's called. Mm. I feel like the wine is attached to my booty. I feel like my booty is getting bigger while I'm drinking it. Okay. So I'm just like, Sheree. So Sheree is sitting up there talking to Kim. Going on and on and on with Kim laughing, and that shit wasn't even funny, wasn't shit, Kim is not funny, wasn't shit Kim saying, it wasn't nothing to giggle, wasn't like, oh, or all them faces, and that drama, that, and that, oh my gosh, that Sheree was doing, it was terrible, y'all, it was terrible to me, and she was like, oh my gosh, really, and then she was saying this, and now you're gonna say that, and oh, 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 it was way too much, and Kim sitting up there talking all that horse, horse shit, and stuff there getting, um, uh, buck, and stuff like that, but she wasn't buck with candy later on, but we gonna get with that later, okay, and, you know, she, old girl trying to still implement NeNe in some kind of coke thing, coke gate or some kind of drug taking and saying that, um, uh, she trying to ride in home on that, on that, on that rape thing, knowing good and well that the rape thing is over with by the time this episode going to get to us and knowing that we have short mind, you know, attention spans, she got to say it again. And she got, and she said it with, uh, 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 you know, going in about, oh my gosh, who would play with rape? Oh my goodness, who would play with rape and even play? I mean, it's got to be a sick individual, a crazy individual. And this bitch just set up and spent, what'd she say, $40,000, $40,000 on a lawyer to get a cease and desist? And, and did did y'all see NeNe stop talking about it? I think NeNe was done calling you a racist by the time you spent that money. Girl, you stupid as hell. You dumb as hell. I can't do Kim. Kim is disgusting and I don't want Kim. Even watching her talk and act with candy later on in the episode i was like why are we, why why are we even dealing with kim nobody wants to see kim or it's not enough people who wants to see kim and kim was a lame and you can't never remember is that you can never look at kim and really believe nothing so even though we know that this stuff is like heavily scripted and you know very very contrived this this season with Kim, I don't think most people can even look at Kim and feel as though there's any truth coming from the bitch. Okay. I don't think that we can, in, that very many people can even look at her and, and derive any truth or anything that we're looking at to be really real, except that you went to sleep in that house and you woke up. And that, and that you, you, you know what I'm saying? That you drink out a red cup, but nothing of like this, this, the, the portrait that she's playing or nothing that she's presenting to us as her lifestyle really seems actually all the way true. Cause girl, I would have never thought they would have bought that girl, bought that daughter with a, a four focus to drive in. Tell me this is her trainer car. Girl, boo. As highfalutin as you are, girl, you should have had shit, shit outside of an Acura for that little girl. Mm -mm. Talking about a trainer car. I saw that episode. Like, girl, boo, get the hell out of here. We know money is a little different over there. Um, since that NFL situation. And I just felt like sitting down on the on the couch that Sheree was just running her mouth. Sheree looks stupid. And I'm like, I don't be understand how niggas be wanting these type of women. Like Kim with all this line that she does, Sheree with all this. She's basically a beggar. 
You know what I'm saying? To do anything to get this check. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, I don't understand the niggas that want to fuck with these bitches. Like, why y'all don't want to get with the real ones? The ones that got integrity and the ones that, you know, do try to do right. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas be mad at me because I cuss. But, bitch, what if I ran up in the streets and gossip? Like, I'm talking about ran up in the streets and gossip in real life, not these fucking celebrities on YouTube. I'm talking about ran up in the street and was gossiping about all my friends and they can't say nothing around me because I'm going to run it back. I, it, girl, and they love these indecent bitches. Like Portia. You know what I'm saying? Even though they don't be marrying Portia. But, you know, to kick it in and, and have, you know, shit, sometimes we just want a memory here and there. And I ain't talking about no damn sex. I'm talking about shit. We want to go remember when we were on the motherfucking, um, what do you call that thing? Ferris wheel in the rain. You know what I'm saying? You know, and they'll go have that memory with a dumbass like Portia and a bitch that sat up for four seasons and talked about her cat. And how, how how fat her booty was and twerking and stuff like that. That don't make no goddamn on sense, yo. It don't make no sense to me. But uh, yeah. So I'm sitting up there and I'm like, uh, uh. Okay, so I'm sitting up there and I'm just looking at Kim like I I can't I can't. Okay. Then we get to Mama Joyce and Candy. Mm 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 mm. Mama Joyce hadn't even told Candy. Now I can recognize when Candy's acting, but Candy was really like what. Mama Joyce hadn't even told Candy that she had met with Portia. Ain't that a trip? But I want y'all to pay attention to Baby Ace. Okay? And this is where everybody who hates the Candy Cody click might get a little kiki, okay? Did y'all see how Baby Ace had looked like he was well-seasoned and groomed and following the mess? Because there's a bunch of gossiping and bullshit and bitch shit going around up under that little boy's head. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I've said this several times. I said it about Ace. I said it on other shows over the years I've been on YouTube. Stop gossiping and doing female bitch shit up under these little boys. You know what I'm saying? I cannot stand that shit. I don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? And he would, he would just right there. I mean, he would try to mess with his grandma with that straw. But he was in there looking. He knew who was saying what. And then to get a reaction to the other one. Stop doing the female shit under these little boys like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you, these niggas be gossiping more and more to this fucking day. Oh my gosh, I ain't never seen it. I start seeing gossiping ass niggas in college. But bitch, I'm damn near 40. These niggas be gossiping like, oh, blue hair women on the stoop. You know what I'm saying? I can't take it. I can't. I'm going to calm down. Hold on. So... Mama Joy said, well, you know, I did go, you know, Candy's recanting to her, you know, well, not recanting, recounting to her about, you know, what happened in Barcelona. And Mama Joyce really is trying to make this point that maybe it was really Phaedra who just got into that little simpleton's mind and that she really didn't have it out for you like that, but she was just going along with the master manipulator. And I'm like, baby, when I tell you Mama Joyce hates Phaedra, but Mama Joyce what Candy says, right? Do not be blinded by your hate for Phaedra and think that this girl did not have mind enough to know that she was sitting up blind and that Phaedra they was doing a, trying to do a setup and got caught up in it. Come on, Mama Joyce, you too cold for that. You, you, you schooled in the game. You back in the day. Come on, don't fall for no bullshit like that whole time. Ace sitting up here in women's business and shit. Fuck, I can't. So anyway, um... What else happened, baby? So Nene then got blown out the goddamn gone, um, escape tour. We saw when that happened for the Uber joke where she somebody told her to go kill herself. You know, a heckler as a comedian. And then she says, that's why you're going to get raped by your Uber driver. But what we find out is that it was some kind of joke that her and Cynthia came up with talking about how Uber drivers be getting all the Hello Kitties and stuff like that. So I now can see her saying some shit like that. Uh, not see her saying, I hope you can get raped. But I can see where the rape came from. And I do not think it was a tent of really saying, I really hope you get raped. I think it was all in a mix in the shit. You know what I'm saying? But I can say that shit. Having not been accused of planning to rape, drug and rape someone and then go on a whole campaign to uh, obliterate my accuser on that. Candy bitch, you was all kind of hypocritical. You know, listen, I see what you're saying, Candy. 
Like, okay, I know what the joke is. I see where Ray came from and, and then she just had to clap back and it came all out at the crazily and stuff like that. But bitch, the fact that you and all your people got all of us hanging with you on that bullshit that Faye done them did, you can't go with what your first mind said. You can't be running around telling people this shit and telling people that what you really think. You got to play the fucking game, bitch. You say you the, the number one on playing the game. You got to be like, oh my gosh, yes it was. But you did not. You all down through telling everybody you didn't told the white girl and the dingy ass black girl that you didn't see, you didn't really think it was something that put the girl off the tour for us. So and now we all looking at you like, bitch. What the fuck? You not playing the game right. Okay? No, 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 no. And then we're going to see next week, she going to tell Todd, her and Todd going to be like, I don't know what the fucking problem. I, it ain't that serious. I'm like, bitch, that's it. Portia needs to get back on this show, and I don't even feel this. But since you fuckers not playing the game, let the girl get on the show and don't nobody else say nothing else. Write it in the contract, bitches. Don't say nothing else to that girl about that stuff. And although Candy's not saying anything to her, don't nobody else say it. Because cause Candy okay with rape until you start saying she. I ain't gonna say she okay with rape. She okay with rape comments until you put it on her. That's what it looked like to me. Even though I identify with where Candy was trying to logicize how it happened, and really the intent. I get you, Candy. But, baby, considering all of this shit, after Phaedra and Portia did that shit, you can't say that. And, girl, you saying it everywhere. You finna go into saying it into a second episode, too? Oh, Candy, girl. I'm not with you. And I'm gonna say another thing I'm not with Candy with at the end of this episode. But, um, yeah. So Nene is toe down, baby, because she probably getting it from everybody. The managers, producers, uh, uh, opportunities getting snatched. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's hard for black women to bounce back from shit that they say. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers can rape motherfuckers for fucking years. Woo! Snatch people's got that on uh, interview tapes and audition tapes and shit for years. Of rape. Oh, my fucking gosh. And do all kind of crazy shit. But as soon as the black woman or black man step out of line, it's over curtains, fuck them, dump them, all that shit like that. It's ridiculous. Whew. And she is toe down. I felt love for Nene when she showed us what she felt like. And I didn't think it was fake. Because see, when I saw it on Instagram, I'm like, this bitch is just doing it extra, right? But when I saw it really on the tape and the, and the, and, and the actual video i was like whoa this yeah she getting it she said i'm getting it from everybody so come to find out why sheree over there lying oh my gosh this girl's off now okay hold on my daughter's off i gotta tell her on my way okay so while sheree is basically um you know laughing and joshing and jiving with what's the little girl name kim we we getting a double take back and forth with Brent talking about some damn um cause 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 um because uh what was gonna say Kim over there telling Sheree oh uh Brent invited Brielle over and you know and then they trying to con con contort with each other saying oh I didn't um excuse me I didn't really um. I wasn't Sheree's plus one. I was invited. That's what they still trying to play out, right? And then they trying to give us a, a story as to why uh, Brent, why why the girl was over there, why the, how the girl and Croy got over there. Talking about Brent, I mean, uh, Brielle had text Brent and told him, oh, we over here in our old neighborhood um, and uh, we want to know we can stop by a bitch. On the same night that my mom was having a party, Brent, you was slow as fuck with that shit. You know what I'm saying? On the same night that my mom was having a goddamn party and all these cameras and stuff is over here. And bitch, we don't even fuck with y'all like that. No, you can't come over here. I'll holler at you in these streets. Okay? Like, girl, I would slap this dog shit out of Brent. And then what, what is that shit that when you get dark right here? Because I'm starting to get that shit right here. I thought that was lupus. Is that lupus? 
I don't know, but he had a big old thick piece right here, and I want a pumice stone that. Can, can you can you scrape that and then put some salve on it for a couple days and then get it back light or some kind of girl? I, I promote the bleaching over here. I, I can't. I I, I see. I be I, they trying to come on me, but I be scrubbing like a mug. Okay, I don't know what happened to him. What happened to his face like that? So anyway, um. And, ne and so Nene sits down with him. And if that was planned out and they had already had a script, Brent, nigga, you need to start acting, okay? Because you did a good job, baby. You did a good job, baby boy. You really did. Uh, if it was acting, you did a good job. But I'm still mad at you because you shouldn't invite nobody over there on no night I'm having a motherfucking party. If they ain't already here, fuck them. Or come ask me, okay? You're not grown like that to invite to my parties, okay? So I'm sitting up here and I'm looking like... Okay, Kim tries to, and Brielle was invited by Brent. Bitch, no, she wasn't. And Brielle was like, well, the, the, well, now the mirror was not on the wall, it was on the floor. And she's like, she thinks she cute, so she was trying to bend down and look and woo, woo, woo. And then she, Kim said some other shit about, uh, don't be mad at me because you got the, 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 the bugs in your house and stuff like that. You need to be worried about getting them bugs at your house. Bitch, everybody got bugs in their house, some kind of bug, especially here in Georgia. Girl, listen, I don't, I ain't from no, I ain't from around here, shawty. My, my, look, I've been here six years, and I'm trying to tell you, these bugs is heinous as fuck out here. You can spray the perimeter, you can pay $50 a month to have these motherfuckers come in and spray, and bitch, when I tell you, if them hoes want to get in your house, these bitches will get in your house. I just had a whole motherfucking four-inch lizard in my house with all the home defense, all the, uh, the, 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 what is the people, the Terminex and all that shit on the outside, and the bitch was still in it like, hi, how do? Okay, how do? So, bitch, don't try to do it, uh, Connecticut, bitch, because you know she from Connecticut. Don't try to do it. You didn't have bugs, too, okay? And I heard your children had lice at one time. So, what, can we talk about them bugs? I just, I just want to know that. Can we talk about them bugs? Okay? And you need to talk about them motherfucking animals chewing your children's eyes out. And that's not me being ugly. How about we talk about the fuck shit you got going at your house? Okay? You don't need to have all them motherfucking big, big, uh, wolf ass dogs and shit around them little ass kids. Fuck wrong with you. Ooh, bitch, I could go in. I, girl, Kim don't want to see me. Y'all know I don't never show y'all no reads. Okay? And for real. And I, bitch, ain't no way. Ain't no way. And y'all was sitting here considering if you want to kill that motherfucking dog. Girl, I jumped on that motherfucking dog and opened my whole cat up and pissed on his mouth. Girl, ain't no way. Oh, ain't no goddamn way. Okay, but anyway. I'm getting ignorant. So, um, back to what I was saying real quick. I'm going to talk while I show y'all this. Just email me at bonafidebagatelle at gmail.com and let me know. Ain't this the bullshit? And let me know what you see that you like. Okay, I don't, I don't know why. Okay? But anyways... Uh, I, I, it just tripped me out how all that stuff was playing out and stuff like that. So, okay, that's Kim and Nene. And Nene, you know, is showing us that she's really upset about what happened. And, you know, I can't believe I did that. And Marlo and Cynthia go over there. I don't know why Cynthia, 50 years old, with that get up she got on. Not saying she got to look like a grandma, but girl, come on, sis. You don't look 50, but bitch, you don't look 32 either. So I wish you would really stop. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, and Marlo look gorgeous as ever. Getting some more playtime. Ain't nobody mad at you, Marlo. These are bracelets. Ain't nobody mad at you, Marlo. Y'all just gonna have to email me and see, tell, describe what you like because I ain't got no numbers today. So anyways, I like how they went over there as friends and stuff like that. Y'all see Greg getting over there licking off the damn um, cupcake. It wasn't but Cynthia and Marlo coming over. You should have took that damn cupcake because now everybody going to tell me how nasty your ass is licking on food that other motherfuckers got to eat and shit. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Even to be funny, let's think it all the way through. You know what I'm saying? Let's think it all the way through even when we think we funny. You know what I'm saying? Everything is $5 plus tax except this. This is $8. And this is $8 because they are exclusives. You ain't going to find it too many people. Okay. $5 plus tax. Email me what you want. And I will indeed send you an invoice to that email and ship it to you, baby. Thank you for supporting Bonafide Bagatelle. Now, you can tell me the numbers over here. So, now let's get over here to this guy dang um, Candy and um, Sheree. Candy, bitch, did you let Sheree handle you? I think you did. Sheree got you all the way put together and basically uh, adding to her and Kim's net narrative. 
all the way together and adding to, oh girl, you can't even see this, and adding to Kim and her narrative. Okay, that was crazy as hell. Crazy as hell. All of this is $5 plus tax. This is a set, damn. Two pieces. This is a set, two pieces. It's the bracelet, very, very cute gold. And the drop necklace. Oh, you see it? Ooh, 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 ooh. The set is $10. And I'm selling it in a set. You cannot break up the set. So let me stay back here. So y'all can just look at it. There we go. Damn. For some reason, when I'm doing, because I'm doing a direct upload, it won't allow me to, um, there we go, now I can see it. It won't allow me to flip the camera. Sorry. So I won't do a direct upload again next time I'm doing this. Anyways, do y'all, don't y'all think that, uh, Candy got Sheree all the way together? Or not Candy, Sheree got Candy all the way together and had her basically re redacting, <laughs> What the hell she thought about the shit and saying, well, they both was wrong, right? They both were wrong. No, fuck that shit. That's when the, when a wrong bitch be trying to say they both was wrong, that's because she knows she was really wrong. That's the wrong bitch's uh, anthem. We both was wrong. We both was wrong. You know what I mean? You got to watch that type of shit. You can't, yeah, that's what I'm saying. When you get ready to go argue with somebody, you got to be prepared. Oh, shit. I done knocked this all the way out. You got to be prepared to go argue with somebody. And Candy, I don't think Candy thought that Sheree had that mindset to be able to do what she did. Because I damn sure didn't. But she sure did rock your world, Candy, on that damn shit. I was like, Candy, now you know god dang better than to let that girl have you say they both was wrong. I was like, God dog, Candy, you got Millie rocked. She was a rock, 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 rock. She rocked, rocked, rocked. I was like, come on. Then you went over there and got rocked on uh, Kim. Just because you told her, bitch, I'll get live with you. That don't mean a goddamn thing. That don't mean a goddamn thing. For, um... You know what I'm saying? Because when she got over there with Kim, first of all, for you to have waited for hours like that, hours, hours, bitch. And this is all this stuff is adjustable, everything I'm showing you. Hours, bitch. You waited for hours. Ain't no way, sis. Ain't no way. And then you want to end it just on GP, just on the fact that I waited for hours, we would have never ended on a good note. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been no good note ending and, and you'd have me waiting for hours and you're the one who said it was hours candy, okay? So, I, I don't understand that shit. I don't understand it. You can email me at bonafide bagatelle, B-O-N-A-F-I-D-E B-A-G-A-T-E-L-L-E at gmail.com. Okay. So, she come in there with all her bullshit and stuff like that. You try to check her about Croy. Did not do a good job with that. You know what I'm saying? And I was at first I was like, okay, you handling her, you letting her know. I love that you even brought it up to her. And that she's not really present and that she acting like a punk, running off with her husband all the time and always acting like she got to do all this stuff with her husband and her kids. Like, don't nobody else got a husband and kids. I like that you brought it up to her. And then why is Kim on, I'm looking right now, on Watch What Happens Live with Iggy Azalea? Isn't that so befitting? Okay. Anyways, um... Yeah, I'm just sitting up here and I'm like, I'm Mr. Rogers right now. Look at my fat ass. But anyway, um, uh, it was so funny because, oh, I'm boiling them eggs downstairs. Freak. Do y'all boil y'all eggs with a little salt in it? So that the, the salt can tap on the eggshell and kind of loosen it for when you need to break it up. Get into that, okay? Make sure you do that. Okay, so anyways, sorry. So anyways, they sitting up there. What what is the thing? Um, cause I'm cussing out the person who say something to me. You can say something, but I'm gonna cuss you. I promise. And so, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, okay. So in the restaurant, and I want to go to that place, Sagewood Grill. I've seen it several times. Um, 
I like the candy brought her brought the bullshit with Croy and the kids up to her. But bitch, if you wasn't gonna stand firm in your word and not let the bitch be like, huh? I don't know what you, you know what you're saying. You don't know what you, I, 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 maybe I misunder. I don't, you know. And that's her lying. You know what I'm saying? That's her get, trying to get around the fact that she didn't got called out in this bullshit. Tell me she don't know what's going on and she knew everything that was going on in that questioning. Now let's talk about. When you start talking about the shit with Nene. I wasn't with the fact that you sat up there and you told that girl, Candy, that, you know, you said in the confession you would never let your child go back and forth with a grown person. We're black. We're black, okay? So, that's that. So, I'm sitting there and I'm like, well, let me stop. Hold on. Let me get this closed because, yeah. All right. Oh, Lord, this damn thing is then broke. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm burning up. I'm glad I saw this quick. That's so, you got to watch it when that salt be on it because it gets it done quick. All righty then. Let that boil out. Okay. Oh, cool, cool down. All right, so. <sighs> Come on, ladies. Let's get this done. Okay. So, I didn't like when you sat up there and you told her that you know you just let her get away with that nini shit with her child and stuff like that like if you was gonna make the point you need to stand in the point and then y'all start talking about then then you you know you, you gonna get mad because she's now you said damn first and then when she leaned in and said fuck you had an attitude and you said i can't go there and i'm just like you know what candy it's like you had all the good intentions but none of them came to fruition none of them None of them came to fruition. Like you couldn't, you couldn't, you didn't make, you didn't implement them right. You didn't implement what you were trying to do right. And then in the end, you and old girl gonna um get friends. I don't know how that shit worked. Do y'all know how that shit worked? How did they get friends at the end? Candy, you don't forgive nobody else, niggas you didn't grew up with. But you're going to let this fraggle naggle raggedy mouthed ass, fucked up, nosed it ass, uh, white girl finagle her way back to, or you even act in this moment. Now, she did get on, watch, watch what happened live, Candy did, and said um, that her and Kim really ain't about shit. But I wouldn't even have that moment where her, the bitch wouldn't have got out the restaurant thinking that we was cool. Or that we would ever be cool. You know what I'm saying? Tell my old, you know what I mean? You beat me out some money and stuff like that. Girl, a bitch beat you out some money. You act like everything about you is about money. But you mad at a bitch that called you a hoe when that's what you act like on TV. But you not mad about a bitch that beat you out some money? Girl, ain't no motherfucking way. Girl, that's the first thing to, not, to make me not fuck with you. Listen, I just did my homegirl's boyfriend's resume for $100 the other day, right? And I do do resumes. Hit me up. Uh, and, and yeah, I told her it was $100 off top. Now, when the day I called her to send it back to her, she told me, well, oh, uh, I don't think he got the money. Woo, 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 woo. Girl, I don't like shit like that, bitch. All of our 10 years will be over with. Do you understand what I'm saying?